Now, one of the guys caught up in the piracy, and particularly in smuggling, his name was Robert Jenkins. And Robert Jenkins was just kind of a common guy who was just basically a sailor. And he really would have been forgotten had it not been for a single incident that occurred after the War of Queen Anne. What happened was he was stopped by a Spanish ship. Jenkins himself was an Englishman, uh, fl uh, flying the flag of England on board his ship. When the Spanish came on board his ship, they demanded that he reveal what he was smuggling. He refused, so they tied him to the mast. The Spanish captain then drew his saber, and he cut off the ear of Jenkins. And he said to him, this is what we're going to do to your king if we ever capture him. Well, Jenkins was kind of a, a brilliant marketer. He was a man who was not going to let this defeat him. So, strangely, he kept the ear. That may seem strange to you, but let me tell you why he kept the ear. He kept the ear, he had it preserved somehow, and then he had it attached to a chain which he wore around his neck. He then went back to England and began to tell people, look what the Spanish did to me. Look with my ear, they cut it off. He went and he actually became such a popular storyteller that the British Parliament heard him and even the King of England heard him. They became so furious that the Spanish had dared to cut off his ear that they went to war against the Spanish. And this little war during this period of history is called, I'm not making this up, is literally called the War of Robert Jenkins' Ear. If that's not insanity, and if that's not something that you would not want, if that's not something you wouldn't want to be involved in, then correct me. But that is something that the American colonists desperately wanted to escape because it was ridiculous. Thank you.